Welcome to Sim Show! <laughs> What a place, look around. We just arrived 10 minutes ago and we're absolutely loving it here. So we came here for the Tagum Festival starting tomorrow. We won't get there today, but this place is amazing. We will get to exploring this place soon enough. But first things first, we have to mention the ride here. Absolutely incredible. We took Shimshal Road with our friend Sajid and Majid from Climax Adventures Pakistan. We had a little four person road trip in our 4x4 and Shimshal Road is probably one of the most beautiful roads in the world and certainly one of the most adventurous roads because it's a road that's been built more or less by hand. For the past hundreds of years, people have been using it as a footpath to access Shimshal. And then slowly it turned to a horse track, and then it turned to a horse and wagon track, and then it turned to a fully viable road for cars, weaving through the mountains, tons of bridges. We had tons of amazing bridge shots crossing the river. We were driving right near some cliffs most of the time and all of the rocks stacked up all done by hand over the course of hundreds of years. So we were absolutely amazed with Shimshaw Road. It felt like every angle that you looked was beautiful. Left, right, forward. We had to be very uh, uh, judicial with our camera use. We could have just let the camera run the whole time. We had so much fun, the four of us. What an incredible drive. Um, the river, the mountains, some people along the way we saw. People panning for gold in the river was very interesting. Some nomadic people that kind of live in tents and go around panning for gold. Absolutely cannot say enough about Shimshaw Road. Historical road and so incredibly beautiful must drive. It's an absolute must drive. And I will say the quality of the road was surprisingly good. Um, we've been on roads in cities in Pakistan that are much more bumpy. Right, the I would road. Say, uh, 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 Sajid said that it's one of the most dangerous road in Pakistan. But despite that, it's we were driving uh, along the edge of a cliff. I felt so safe the whole time. Right, the road itself is quite safe. The reason it's dangerous is because of landslides. Right. Not the road collapsing, but what's above you collapsing onto you. Right. The road itself is really well maintained, and it's all done by hand, and it's really smooth and beautiful. Cannot say enough about the road. Absolutely amazing Shimshal Road. Then once we pulled in here, Shimshal is this 470 or so year old town that was started by like a guy and his wife. And um, everywhere you look, every property has this stack of stones as a fence. It's so picturesque and beautiful. Despite the fact there's only a few thousand people living here, it's kind of a hotspot for tourists um, because it's so photogenic and it's so picturesque. and. It's just a quiet little town. It's got one road leading to it that took hundreds of years to make. And I'm so excited to explore Shimshal. I'm so glad to be here. This is amazing. I cannot contain my excitement for Shimshal. All the stacked up uh, rocks, even some of the houses are made of just rocks. They put a little concrete in between each rock. You can imagine people doing this, you know, generation after generation, uh, building their homestead, building their house. And actually our friend Majid is from Shimshal. Yeah. So when we pulled in, he says, guys, welcome to my hometown, Shimshal. It was such a nice feeling. And once we got to the front door of our accommodation, we knew it was really gonna be a hit. I am so excited. That's it, Ivana, <laughs> retirement plan. The year is 2055. Retire in Shimshal, Pakistan. Come wow. on. This is a place to this be This is right amazing. Now. And this is our guest house. We'll be staying here for Look the night. Place. Amazing, so let's nice. check out our room. Let's check out our room. We welcome you today. Wow! Oh. Look at this! This is the heater for it's water! So <laughs> oh, this is amazing. <laughs> this is oh, the best. This is so cool. This is the best. This Look is the at best. this. Night time, uh, this is cold. We can use this. Cold here. Oh, really? Yeah. This is to um, make hot water. Yeah. Wow! I'm so excited! Chai on the uh, <laughs> coal 
Fireplace? Yeah. Wow, this oh, is like fireplace. very cool. What could be better than that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you! Oh, and actually, guys, I forgot. On Shimshaw Road, on the way here, we were amongst a bunch of glaciers and we stopped at a hot spring amongst the glaciers. It was really amazing. Check this out. Check it out, it's very confusing. So, surrounded by glaciers, yeah. right? Like, this is a glacier. This big black thing is a glacier. It's a gigantic chunk of ice with black stuff on top, mm -hmm. right? Pure ice. Everywhere you see mountains and ice. The water, distinctly warm. Really? So, amongst wow. the glaciers, there's a hot spring. It's not Look boiling hot like a hot spring where it's like, you know, enough to swim in, but it's like not cold at all. Nice and wow. kind of warm water amazing kind of confusing for my brain i can't figure it out <laughs> the view here i think this whole shower would be warm water if we go down there maybe we can get our heads wet and, you know just have fun <laughs> no. so, and by the way this black glacier is called the malagundi glacier look how beautiful this place is guys wow be careful Guys are dancing. <laughs> All right, we're going inside the waterfall, the warm waterfall. Raining. Okay, I got totally wet. Oh no! Uh, kept the passports dry. Don't know why I brought the passports. Kept Yvonne's phone dry. Uh, warm Sad. water shower. Pretty amazing. Also, jacuzzi happening. <laughs> Legitimately warm water, all bubbling. Wow. We did go inside the warm water shower for a couple seconds. It was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> Immediately ran out of there. Um, got wet, got dirty. Yeah, you got my jacket Shh. wet. I Your see. jacket got wet. <laughs> no regrets, baby. Look around. Come on. Okay, yeah, let's go back in the amazing. car where there's heat. Right. I gotta dry my shoes. My shoes are wet. I got no other <laughs> shoes. It's oh, a total no. disaster. That's life. No, okay. no regrets. Okay, let's, go back. let's go. And so I'm just about ready to explore Shimshal. In yeah. fact, I'm very ready and excited. But first, <laughs> I think we will um, get some food. Yeah. Let's have a meal and let's go see if we can meet some locals and see what we can do here. So beautiful, so tiny beautiful. little town. There are, the I think, about 1,000 people living here. Yeah, more than 1,000, but not many. Yeah. Maybe a couple thousand at the most right, living right. in Shimshal. Yeah. There's four main parts of it. This is kind of one part. There's right. like four different communities in Shimshal. Shimshal uh, is a region. That's so right. excited to be here. Um, okay. Okay, let's, let's eat, eat, then let's go explore. Let's do it. All right, guys. Yogurt, veggies, and yak meat. Yak meat. Uh, is this my first time eating yak meat? Yes, I think so. First time I eating so, yak Steve. meat experience yak as meat. our first experience eating in Shimshaw. Wow. So guys, more information on Shimshaw Road. Only completed in 2004, mm -hmm. so very recent. Took 18 years to do because most of it was by hand. And before that, in Shimshaw, the locals wanted more education and schools and stuff. So the government said, instead of giving you guys, building you guys stuff like that, it's so hard to do. What we'll do is we'll give you land in Lahore and Islamabad and we'll just let you move. And the locals in Shimshaw said... Uh, cannot, cannot move, must stay here. They just kind of felt tied because to this place. Yeah, their forefathers have lived, used to live here a long time ago. Right. Yeah. So they said, we're going to make this road ourselves. So the locals kind of took it upon themselves to make this road. And since then, they've got uh, a place for worship, like a mosque. Mm -hmm. They've got a school. Mm -hmm. They've got a big tourist thing now. Mm -hmm. This big uh, guest, rent, houses. guest house we're staying in. Mm -hmm. So they've really done something kind of amazing all on their own. Yeah. And with that, let's eat some yak. Yum, look at that. Uh, I would guess, based on uh, not being a chef, that yak tastes like beef. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So. Looks like a looks like a cow, you know? Mm. Uh, yak. So this has got meat and lots of fat in there. It's gonna be super delicious. <laughs> it's gonna be super flavorful. Okay. Some kind of gravy. Um, I'm gonna not even give the other ingredients. I'm just gonna go for the yak. Oh, okay. Hold on, let our friend. Okay, sorry, yeah, sorry, we'll sorry, sorry. Them yeah, as yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> sorry. I got one thing on my mind, and it's eat yeah, yak. <laughs> okay. So veggies and veggies. yuck meat. This is cabbage, wow. and evidently, guys, right out front of our, like right here, uh, is actually an orchard 
growing fruits. So even though we're at super yeah. high elevation, 3,000 meters, mm -hmm. um, you can still grow apricots and apples and stuff. Yeah. So right now we're not in the right season, but right in front of our accommodation, yeah. like our bedroom door, would be in a, a fruit orchard. Yeah. If it was the right time of year. Amazing. Pretty incredible. Okay, okay yeah. Try, 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 try. Yak try it up, Steve-o. Yak it up. It's all kind of just bits and pieces of yak. This is fat. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Okay, don't be afraid. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What? <laughs> Doesn't taste like beef. Doesn't taste like beef. No, it's more soft. Really? It's soft. It's soft. Also think in this recipe, I'm guessing they cooked it for a long time. They slow cooked it, you know what I mean? It looks like a stew. It looks like a stew. Yeah. Is it spicy? So it's not spicy, but the temperature is hot. Mm -hmm. Um but it's a little bit softer than the of beef fat. I'm used to. Tons of fat. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in for probably the most flavorful bite ever Ooh, with a that. huge okay. chunk of fat. Look at the jiggle. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you know why? Because Five stars. Wow. Good, it's really good. I was just saying, there are lots of fat in yaks and they eat it in this region because it's cold. I was and gonna it, say. Because of the high elevation. I was gonna say, it keeps you warm. It feels yeah. like a hearty meal. Right. Okay, let me try. I mean, this is awesome. Okay, your turn. Okay, guys. So beside the yak meat, we also have yak cheese. Yak cheese. We it thought this was yogurt. Yeah, I thought it was yogurt. Look at that. Yak cheese. How do we eat this? Put the whole spoon in your mouth. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think I'm gonna mix it with the meat. Go ahead. Mix it with the meat. What's the proper way? What's the proper way? Eat the yak. You can eat uh, what? Oh, yak meat. Yak cheese. No, no, cow cheese. You can use, uh, use it with different type of dishes. Ah. Yeah. Okay, let me try it on Would you eat own. it by itself sometimes? No, usually with meat or something. Yeah, with everything. You can uh, simply eat it. Got it. Almost like right time, I think. Eat it with yeah. everything. Yeah, right yeah. Let me try okay, it okay. on its own. Yeah, go for it. Tastes like yogurt. Tastes like yogurt. Sour. Yak cheese. Mm. Let me try it with the wow. meat. Wow, yak cheese and yak meat. My first time trying Bro, yak meat. Shimshaw. Oh my gosh. I'm loving this place. Look at the this. yak meat is a little tough to get apart, isn't it? It's kind of all pieced They're together and stringy They're all in big pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, look at that, guys. Don't be afraid. Ooh. Yak meat with rice. And, and cheese. yak cheese at 3,000 meters elevation in a town of 2,000 people or less. Okay, that's right. What could be better than this? Watch this. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Mm-hmm. What a day we're having, Ivana. Takes a while to chew, right? A little mm -hmm. bit chewy. No, the meat, the fatty stuff. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The meat yeah. is really soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, they cook it like a stew. It's not like curry or anything, you know? Right. Very good, very nice. Wow. Very nice. Wow. Okay, let's eat up. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll get nice and warm from this meal. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go explore Shimshaw. Let's do it. Okay, wow. Yuck meat. I found it a little bit chewy. Right. But maybe it depends on how each person cook it. Maybe, right. I don't know. But it tastes like beef. Like the aroma, the flavor, tastes kind of like beef. Yes. But like it's the a smell. Bit different. It's not the like meat. goat. You know how goat and beef, they're totally different? Totally different, yeah. The, the smell is more like similar to beef. Don't you agree? I would agree with that. The yeah. meat itself is softer. Slow yes, the meat, the meat itself is soft. Uh, but I think I don't know the, the tendons. The bits are kind of stringy and tendons. Yeah, yeah the yeah, tendons yeah. is a little bit tough. And the cheese, it reminds me of cottage cheese in Canada. Oh, good point. But sour. It's yes. more sour. It's even more sour than yogurt, like regular yogurt. Good point. Yeah. I think it's good for you if you live in a place like this. I think you're right. Yeah. All right. Anyway, All right. five stars meal. Five stars meal. Totally yeah. agree. And we have tap water. Tap water, hey, tap water, drinkable tap water. Because? Because we're up in the glacier. Yeah, it's <laughs> spring water, natural spring water. Awesome. From the glaciers. Yeah. So it should be clean. And All right. And with that, let's go explore some show. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that, guys. So cute. What a nice way to start our Shimshol journey. Yes. Just walked about 12 seconds from our accommodation and we're with the uh, sheep. Yeah, look at them. There you have so it. Cute. Hi, look hi, around, hi. Yvonne. Everywhere you look, it's so beautiful. Little, little guy. <laughs> Munching on some hay. Wow, mm. There you have it, guys. Look around, Yvonne. It's so nice. Everywhere you look. Yeah. Actually, look at here. Simple houses with all the rocks we're talking about.
about. Yeah. So nice. It's actually not that cold. It's pretty windy, which makes it feel chilly, but the temperature is not that low. Yeah. And it's getting warmer. It's spring, so it's getting to summer. Yeah. This summer, this would be the place to be. So we're learning more about Shimshal. Actually, a huge mountaineering town. Mm -hmm. So similar to Nepal, where if you're climbing some of these big mountains, you would get a guy to help you. He would be probably from Shimshal. Because ah. you're living in elevation and you're doing such hard work all the time. Right. You're sort of built for like a uh, oxygen deprivation activity, right. you know? So pretty incredible place. I was asking our guide, our friend uh, Sajid, I was like, do people move here? He says, no. So do people like move out of here? So yeah, sometimes. So the population never really gets any bigger. It's kind of just shrinking slowly and kind of maintaining. Yeah. Um, you kind of have to be born here to live here because right. it's so hard to live here, especially in the winter. You can imagine everything covered in two feet of snow or something mm -hmm. and everything's, right. you know, minus 10 degrees or something. Yeah. Good luck. These people Good are tough. Luck. These people are tough. Would love to stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog, but we'll get to meet a bunch of locals at the festival. Right. We'll see some local people and what they're, you know, I think they're just gonna be such hardworking and just robust people Thanks who really so. can and take on any so challenge. Healthy. I mean, it's just this is the way we live. Organics. For, yeah, this is the way humans live forever until yeah. we until we invented this huge super city and then everything changed. Nothing but, uh, from this the This is can, like back no to microwave. your roots, you know. Yeah. Back to your roots. Wow, look at ah. this. Okay, let's keep exploring. Hey! Oh, satellite dish. Wow. Imagine that, he's playing PS4 in there online. Do they have TV channels and everything? That's they a good have, question. Uh, TV in there. They have televisions, yeah. Ah, okay. They have televisions, okay. Wow. wow. I was surprised to hear that. I thought it would be, no, I thought it would but be. But our, our phone data network is not working here, but hopefully we can get some Wi-Fi from the school. Good place Only for a... Uh, Recharge. Retreat or something. Yeah. To come here on a tourist because no cell phone data. You're not going to get much reliable Wi-Fi. Yeah. You're not going to be on your phone all the time. You're really going to be uh, just admiring nature's beauty and uh, getting to know some interesting people. Awesome. All right. Boom. Let's keep going. Look at this kind of like old style house. Amazing, right? Yeah. Amazing. Right? Sheep running around. I wonder if this is the original with, with mud. I think so. I think so. I think this one is yeah. stones and this is mud. Stone, stone, they are, they are mud bricks. Mud bricks? Yeah, they make oh, bricks this of is a mud. mud brick. And it's very good for winters because it's good for insulation. It's actually good for wow. insulation. Yeah. Mud brick. Mud brick. Okay. Wow. wow, imagine that. So this whole place was built because of uh, one guy and his wife. They were uh, hunters. They were kind of nomadic going around. Mm -hmm. They saw this valley. They said we could live here. That was yeah. 470 years ago. Wow. And then people started coming. That's right. And now it's like, it's an amazing outpost. It's got a school. It's got yeah. a little community. Let's keep walking. It's kind of amazing. See I'm, I'm amazed, these, no? All these buildings, they're all like our houses, our offices. They're so interesting. Yeah. I feel like we could let's turn the camera on and just walk down the street yeah. and let it run. Right. It feels like I'm, it's like back in time or something. Yeah, you're right. Right? Or like a movie set. Like a movie Ooh. where they're doing some sort of... A medieval, everything made from stone, Ooh. you know, Ooh. dust and, and, dust uh, and wind. wind. But it feels like a movie set, you know, these, these walls all made from stone? Yeah. It's so elaborate and so big. This is the head office of the Shimshal Scouts. Cool. Cool, right? Cool. Maybe just let the camera run, babe. It might be the best way to do it because it's so amazing. Like, look at this. People are living here and they must they must just board up. It's, it must just get food stored and just board up everything in the winter. Mm -hmm. And just kind of watch the, watch the sun go by and yeah. eat food. I don't know what you could do in the winter. But apparently they grow veggies and corpse, wheat. Yeah. So they must just stockpile that, stockpile their yak meat, everything. And just uh, yeah. stay warm as you can in the winter. Yeah, and lots of people also the dry, dry the yak meat. Yeah, just hang it. They also yeah. dry fruits, like apricots. Dry fruits, yeah. apricots. And they use it in the winters. So each of these houses has electricity? Uh, yeah, in summers. For basic lights, probably? Yeah, in summers. In summers? Because oh. it's uh, from the hydro, you know? It's hydro electricity, so... Oh, hydro. Yeah. Oh, so as the glaciers are melting, the water is rushing, the hydro mm. electricity is spinning. Once then. they stop melting and it goes winter, So it what happened in the winter? In winter, there's uh, less uh, electricity. Less they have solar panels here. Oh, solar panels. Yeah. Okay, on the rooftop. Right, right. I think I've seen 
one or two. It's just so amazing yeah. to look around. It just blows my mind. Yeah, man. let's keep walking yeah, here. Let's go. Look at all the houses. People are just hanging their clothes. This is general store. General yeah. store. Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice bike. <laughs> Most of people do have bikes. Nice bike. Look at that house. It's Look at that I mean, house. With all the stones up to it, it's so nice. Smart house. And by the way, how did they get way up there to write generosity, tolerance, and harmony? Somebody had to go there. Yeah, they go. And put some white rocks there. They had to bring the rocks there. They, they have limestone. 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 Ah. They paint it. Yeah, they paint. Ah. Limestone. Painted limestone. limestone. Okay. Positive message up in the hilltops. Come oh, on. Okay. This. Come on, I come. <laughs> what a guy. Nice kid, come on. Let's see a landslide. Oh, really? Oh, there's a landslide. Really? Oh, yeah. Small. Small landslide. You guys can see it. Right here. Wow. I have a stupid question. Would people here know what YouTube is? Yeah, YouTubers. No, would they know what YouTube is? Like yeah, a young guy. They know, they, they know. know. For sure they know. They, they have... are developed, they are educated. Yes, they have a school with Wi-Fi, they got phones Wi probably. Yes. Young people here have cell phones. Yes. Okay, stupid questions, but this is how my brain works. Okay. If well, I see a young a person question. and he sees the I camera, like I can say, it's for YouTube. He might look at me like, what the heck? Yeah. He would know YouTube. Uh, they know YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> stupid question, but I just have to ask, you know, they I don't know. They know Netflix. Oh, <laughs> they're on Netflix, wow. Wow, there you Do they it. have Netflix here? No, oh, the internet is not working. Oh, in no internet, okay. But there's Wi-Fi at the school. Yeah, Wi-Fi at the school. That's the only place. Most of the time they go to the other cities like uh, Islamabad, Lahore, uh, or Gilgit. Oh, uh, okay. And they learn, learn right. things. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Awesome. I think the kids are out of school. Yes, they are coming. I think school just ended because it's yeah. everywhere now. Yeah. I guess so. It's like 3.30 or something, no? So it's yeah. probably the right time for school to end. Yeah. I mean, look oh. at this little community in the mountains. This is so special, no? This is very this special. Calling us. Hello. <laughs> I think he's curious. I think he's curious about the camera. Yeah. This guy. Someone like um. It's for uh, YouTube. YouTube. Say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice kid. Come on. I just love the sight of the clothes this hanging. This is amazing. This is like from this is like from a, a, a movie set. Yeah. Where you they they show you the guy's house and you think yeah but nobody lives like that. It's just a movie set. No, this is real. And this would probably house. be fruit trees. Yeah, this like ap apricot. Apricot trees. Apricot. And the ones are apples. Oh, apples and apricot tree. Yeah. Wow. Amazing, right? Yeah. Come on. And this is probably for the sheep or bathroom. Yeah. For the sheep. Look, cattle house. Oh. Yeah, sheep. Empty now, but I just see the poops. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I misled you. All right. The little okay. kennel house with no roof. The sheeps. Hi. I love this kitty, so friendly. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> wow, Ivana. Come on. Look how nice. Shimshal. Shimshal. <laughs> Might be the highlight of Pakistan so far for me. Yeah. Shimshal. Hello. 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 Amazing, come on. You're better than this. Look at this. Wow. This site is just so beautiful. I wish you guys were here. This is a more beautiful site yeah. almost. Wow, good one. Look at that. Look at that old house. I'm just uh, mesmerized by all the houses. Yeah, true fact. Yeah. <laughs> And this one here even has a little little porch and with a little balcony on it. Oh. So you can sit oh, there, yeah, you know, sit out of the sun. Say again. This is an older house. Look at this. And again, the sheep, I love the sheep. <laughs> and this looks like a, some kind of farm. He's There's growing something farm, here. All these are lanes, farm lanes. For, for, for what? For wheat. Wheat. Wheat and potatoes. Oh. He's growing wheat and potatoes right here, yeah. right in his front yard. So that would, that would be This is for farming. Little, uh, that would be a little farm in your house, and that would be like what you tend to, well, you're probably. Right. And then you get more than you need, and you probably share with people and trade around. 
Right. Man, so cool. There you have it, guys. Shimshal. How was your experience, Ivana? Beautiful here. Amazing. Yes. Absolutely amazing. I find it interesting that a lot of people born here, raised here, you know, raising goats or raising sheep, mm -hmm. eating yak meat and, and tending to the little farm. Um, they go to school here, they grow up to be adults, and they go to Hunza or Gilgit, much bigger cities, and they sort of adapt to the modern lifestyle. That's in right. my head, I have it like like natives in a lot of country, the natives people, they kind of do the traditional thing, and they don't seem to be able to do both. Hmm. This is sort of an interesting success story where you're born in this super remote area, mm -hmm. and you're just doing this very traditional kind of simple life, and then when you get older and mature and finish school, you go off to Hunza. Look at our tour guide. I mean, you would never know he was gr he was born and raised in a place of like a thousand people, right. right? He's got a cell phone and he's got his truck and he's like a entrepreneurial, tax-paying modern man. You know, it's amazing that it comes from some such simple beginnings and then they adapt to the modern way. Do you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Yeah, I know. Because I think in my head I have like natives kind of seem to stay that way and prefer that traditional life and don't do both. I think the younger generations now they move out to the city to help yes. out the family members that still live in this community. Maybe that's a good point too. Yes. Pretty amazing. I mean, our tour guide, uh, we met him for like a couple days and he says, oh yeah, I was born and raised here. Really? We would never guess, you know? Right. So amazing success story, amazing place. Uh, I would say in summertime, all the gray and, and brown dirt you see would be like grasses and wheat and green. Be like super amazing in summertime. Mm -hmm. As a tourist in Pakistan, I would say Shimshal is like a must do. So yes. interesting. If you so wanna, memorable. If you want to experience a remote rural rural village in Pakistan, this is the, uh, uh, in the valley the between the mountains. Yep. Uh, it's amazing. And the whole story of the 18 year labor to get the road. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely loving it. So stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We will be at a festival because it's springtime now. The festival kind of marks the beginning of planting and cultivating the dirt. Right. So this is like a thank you festival for it. It's going to start planting our crops. So we'll meet a bunch of locals and we'll learn a lot. And tomorrow's vlog should be good. But now it's time to go home and get some lip chap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's Thanks go. for watching. Bye, guys. Some sort of game here. Oh, God, the best. Breakfast, best wake up call ever. Woo! Look at the views, man. Oh, this is the way to look. Woo!